Yeah, in order to describe symbiosis, I think the most important thing you've got to look at is our mission, which is to help the fight against cancer. One in every five men in the world will experience or go through cancer in their lifetime. One in every six women will do the same. So if you think about um, the problem there, it's, it's multifolded, right? It's to be able to understand what will cure cancer, but with what we have available from a resource perspective, um, what will allow um, health systems to do more with what they have. And that's where symbiosis comes in. So it's a technology to enable oncologists to make decisions about the right drug on the right patient at the right time. The basic idea for what we're doing is to try to build computational models of individual patients' tumor. And that's not just the tumor, it's also the surrounding tissues, the vasculature, what chemical species are available to, to the, the different cells in the simulation. And all of that really comes together into a really comprehensive picture of the biochemistry at play and the way that the different cells are interacting. And what's come out of that is the realization that uh, the morphology and the surrounding tissues really play a, a major role in, in how tumors grow and respond. Our technology really comes from the bottom up. It's what's going on in the tumor and how that drives tumor progression or treatment. What's really unique about our approach is that it's uh, based on GPU computing uh, uh, technologies, which allows us to actually predict the response of a patient two, four, six, or even 12 months in the future, just within a few hours. From a, a user's perspective, everything is automated. Uh, so the TuberScope integrates directly with their uh, electronic medical records software to pull out the relevant information, send it off to the cloud, compute the predictions, and then bring that back uh, to, to the physician for easy consumption and treatment planning. Right now, uh, our initial push is, is on breast cancer. Uh, it's one of the most common uh, cancer types in, in the world, and there's a ton of, of uh, publicly available data, and that's been really critical for an initial sort of training and validation uh, of our technology. Our goal is to get this technology in the hands of oncologists as quickly as possible. So we'll be working with the FDA um, to regulate the technology and approve the technology for market. In order to get there, what we're seeking out are a number of trial partners. Um, who will help assist, provide direction to the technology, but will also provide data to be able to perfect our technology over time.